Scary Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watts. What you doing there, Dave? If I ride the bike while I'm on the treadmill, I get twice the exercise, four times as fast. I don't think you should be doing that. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! Dave, are you... Acorns, collect acorns and love acorns. Don't miss Acorn Con Con Con. That sounds terrifying. Come on, Dave, we've got to hurry. He's got a thing for acorns, squirrels. <gasps> what does that unlock? An even smaller key? <laughs> That was my second guess. This is where I keep my collection of collections. <laughs> I started this acorn hat collection when I was a little kid. Look, I'm only missing one. If I can find it before Acorn Con, then... What? 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 I get to go on stage and everyone will clap at me. And trophies and prizes and stuff? Nope. Polite applause. Time for an acorn mission. You with me? I said, are you with me? Let's do it! Wait, I'm not with you. You need this one? Dave. How about one of these? <laughs> Helping is fun. <laughs> On it. Bound to happen, totally natural. Let me try. <laughs> Are any of these good? <laughs> Were they good? This is fun. There's only one place in town left to check. Moderately sized mountain. Come on! Wow, that name is really deceiving. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Actually, I don't think I'm ready to... Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Stop! Stop! I found it! Everything's coming up, Skate. Uh-oh. Sorry! Easy? Easy? Up! Up! Woo-hoo-hoo! Run! I'm tired! Killer complete with a full day to spare. All right, let's... Me! Dizzy. Witty. Hi, hey, yeah, 
I dropped that, and I really... I found it. Mine. <laughs> yeah, but see, I've got a collection of... Please, I really need it, so that... Mine! Let me try. <laughs> Hello. The acorn you are holding belongs to my friend... <laughs> Ow! Ow! Make a stop! Ow! Not quite the point. Tell her whatever she wants to hear. She's loco. He's bossy. <laughs> Dave's not bossy. He's just... I'm bossy. I'm bossy. Look, do you, do you think I can have that acorn hat you found? Hmm, maybe. Do you like dollies? I'm having a tea party. Um, I'm not really a tea party kind of... Yes, I do like tea parties. Yay! My backyard, three o'clock. <laughs> This will never fit in my nose again. Are you enjoying your tea, Princess Pointy Cakes? Uh, my name is actually. <laughs> Not you, silly. Princess Pointy Cakes. Yeah, I like the tea. Louder! Yes, I love tea! I always thought your voice would be higher than that. Yes, I love tea! Higher! <gasps> So pretty. Mine! I'll, uh, I'll, I'll trade you for it. <laughs> you, uh, sure this is how you want to use the stickers I bought you? Okay, what? Fun! Getting back to what I was talking about. My acorn! Psst. Scary. Pointy. Uh, don't hurt me. I just want to talk to my friend. The acorn thing is today. Did you get the hat back? Does it look like I got it back? <laughs> Is it under one of the stickers? Dave, I just need to spend a little more time with this girl and she'll give me the acorn for sure. Time for a makeover! This can't end well. Yay, pony! I said pony! Nay. Wow, it's been a lot of fun today, but I really need that acorn hat. Be so... a good clown and do something funny. <laughs> but I've got it. You ever notice how bears seem to vanish in the winter? What's the deal with that? Seriously, nothing? Okay, wait. Let's see what came in the clown kit. Juggle these! Ah! Hey, I'm doing it! Look at me, I'm a funny clown! Funny, funny, funny clown! Hey, Scatty, we're all ready for the... Oh, sweet mother of crazy! Funny, funny, I'm a funny... Oh, hey, this, uh, isn't as pathetic as it looks. You're right. How could it be? So, you coming? What's the point? I'm never going to get that last acorn hat. Don't cry, mister. The tears of a clown. <laughs> now that's pathetic. Here, don't cry, okay? Huh? Crying gets me what I want? <laughs> Looks for me. Thank you. More juggling! Oopsie. My acorn hat! Will you be my clown? Uh... No. Do you still have time to make it to Acorn Con? Yes, I do. This little fella belongs in my booklet. Did you drop it? <laughs> ah! It's okay. I'll still clap for you. Actually, that's sadder. Cashews, cashews, cashews! Oh, that's right, Balsa! 
the city. Next weekend, it's Cashew Palooza! One day only! <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Come on, let's go! Most canned food historians agree, of all the great stackers for the ages, the greatest by far was a humble duck, Lars von Stacking. From the height of his popularity in the 1970s to his dark and brooding period in the early 90s, Lars never failed to stack to the stars. In 2004, Lars embarked on his most breathtaking display yet. It was to be his masterpiece, the Brock Coliseum, and it attracted broccoli fans the world over. But even the sturdiest of canned goods can topple. Months later, Lars became dogged by accusations of cheating. He denied everything, but in the end, the pressure was too much. Von Stacking slipped... <laughs> slipped away, never to stack again. Hey, Scare, what you doing? Lars Von Stacking is coming here to Balsa City! <gasps> Not Lars Von Stapalopagus. He's like your biggest hero. He's going to sign copies of his book, <laughs> Me, My Shelves, and I, The Lars Von Stacking Story. I've been holding this spot in line all week just so I could beat the hardcore broccoli heads. Then who have I been hanging out with? <laughs> You're hilarious. You were hilarious. <clears throat> Buddy the guy's here, or whatever. You mean Lars von Stacking? The greatest stacker who ever stacked a stack? He's finally here? I said, or whatever, didn't I? <gasps> hey, little guy. And what's your name? Scar. Scar. Is that Norwegian? His name is Scary Squirrel. He's your biggest fan, and he even works as a stacker himself at the Station Hall. Oh, hey, you're the guy that sends me letters every month. Bi weekly. You know, it means a lot. Maybe I'll stop by the store sometime and check out your work, huh? He's just playing dead. I think it means he likes you. See you tomorrow, buddy. He shook my paw. I'm never gonna wash it again. I mean, I am, of course I am, but I might use a less abrasive soap. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Lars? Is that you? <laughs> huh? Oh, 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 scaredy squirrel. I'm just studying the, the, the natural stacking patterns of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you all right? <laughs> I can't even stack pancakes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Things can't be that bad. The bookstore asked you to do a signing, didn't they? They just wanted the broccoli heads to show up so they could sell more vegetable encyclopedias. <laughs> Care about me. <laughs> but you're the greatest there ever was. Check out my Von scrapbook. I can help you stack again. No use. I'm too scared. The best way to beat your fear is to face it. I should know. My name is Scaredy Squirrel, after all. Yes, I was wondering why they called you that. Yep, I faced my fears and now I'm not. Oh, sweet mother of almonds! <laughs> Sorry, embarrassing. So you with me? Well, I guess we could give it a shot. Let's just take it nice and slow. Okay, okay, I've got one. Knock, knock. 
Knock, knock. Hi, Dave. You'll never guess who... Give me back my pudding. Dave, look who's making a comeback stack attack. Wow, I'm impressed, non-veggie Scatty. Oh, thanks, Scatty. All this stacking has made me feel alive again. <laughs> Thank me? <laughs> no, no, I... Wow, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Nesta! You no good useless beak for brains! How is it that we have a city full of broccoli loving losers and everyone's buying their veggies at the uh, farmer's market? Um, see, it's just if folks were meant to get food from a farm, then why would it come in a can? It's uh Scaredy's fault! The broccoli isn't stacked well enough. Is that true? Well, not anymore, because Lars von Stacking and I are going to recreate the Brock Coliseum. What in the von who? That'll attract the broccoli heads for sure. Uh, maybe we should do... Uh... Fine, done! You better hope your Lady von Schnitzel can do what you say. Uh, Nestor, this is Lars von Stacking. Ooh, awkward. Not awkward. Don't care. Isn't this great? You and me, broccoli! Yeah, you're right. Right. Mm. Oh, where is he? Come on, Lars. Come on. <laughs> Lars! <laughs> I thought you weren't going to make it. That sure is a lot of broccoli. 358 pieces, the exact number used for Brock Coliseum 1.0. Here, here, come here. What? I want to document all of this. <laughs> Maybe we should stack cans instead. I mean, come on, broccoli's been done, don't you think? <laughs> broccoli's been done! <laughs> Woo, good one, Lars, good one. So where do we start? Uh, uh, this broccoli isn't organic. You can only make the broccoli seem from organic broccoli. So we uh, time to stop trying, I guess. No problem. We just got a shipment in last night. Let's do this! Wait, I uh, meant to say uh, organic broccoli from Australia. You're kidding. Huh? This is from Australia! You can't always believe what you read on the side of a box. Good eye, mate. I think a dingo ate my didgeridoo. Reggie did you walk about? I, uh, I, I have to uh, go use the bathroom, that's right. Uh, for a few hours, out of the building, alone. What a boofhead! Am I right? Crikey! Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> I guess you had to be there. Hey, Dave, do you think Lars is acting weird? Do cats play the tambourine? Just something I was wondering. What were you saying again? When Lars and I started working on the Brock Coliseum, he got all jumpy and ran off. Running does sound suspicious. We should follow him. I'll get the false mustaches. You're wearing my mustache. Shh. Yeah. Excuse me, what did that guy just buy? Uh-huh. Reckon he bought more shellac than I ever done seen before. What's shellac? Makes things shiny. Oh, sticky and shiny. Uh-huh. Crushed cashews. Lars, I was at the... Scandy! Just in time. Look! Lars, did you go to the hardware store today? What? That's crazy talk. You're a crazy person who talks with the crazy accent. Oh, look! Shellac! <laughs> it's a funny story. You must be in the woodworking, right? Right? Yes. No. I like the first answer better. Ah, you don't understand. The Brock Coliseum is impossible. The only way to do it is to shellac. But what about stack for the stars? I don't believe in that garbage. As a matter of fact, my real name is actually... Lars von Schellacker. I'm shocked. Von shocked? All these years I idolized. A liar. Oh, come on. 
don't let this stop us. You could join me and we could rule the grocery stores together like father and son. I'll never join you! Wow, you actually did it. That's right. Lars von Stucking stucks again. I couldn't have done it without my partner in shellacky uh, stacking, scaredy squirrel. My partner? I'm not your partner. <laughs> this Brock Coliseum has not been stacked. He's jealous. I have never seen this squirrel before in my life. How do you explain this? Oh, oh no! My shellac! <laughs> And Lars is leaving! I should go see if he's okay. Nah -ah -ah. The Broccoli Nerds will be here any minute, and they expect to see their nerd castle. But what? I can't! I'm warming up my firing finger! Uh -uh. Can it, Junior? What am I gonna do? The Brock Coliseum is impossible! It was only impossible because Lars thought it was impossible. You can do it, Scare! Stack to the stars! You're right, Dave. It's go time! <laughs> Blueprint? Check. Hydration? Check. Broccoli? Needs butter. Not important! Check. Time to stack. was a humble squirrel who finally stacked the Brock Coliseum for real. He would go on to stack many fine things in his life, but none were as grand as his greatest triumph. As time passed, the glow of success faded, and everyone moved on to more pressing matters, like the tuna sale in aisle four. However, Scaredy continued to receive fan letters from one anonymous writer, like clockwork, every month. Actually, it's bi-weekly. 